Hi, this is Tor from TC Electronic here in DV East London, and I'm here to show you the brand new Dark Matter Distortion pedal. Despite the name, Dark Matter Distortion is actually more of a classic rock kind of pedal, so it'll give you that crank tube amp sound. Everything from just slightly break up and getting a little bit of grit on your sound to full out rock uh, rhythm stuff and leads. So let's check out how it sounds. So I'm playing a nice Les Paul standard into a Fender Deluxe with everything set totally clean, so here's my dry sound. And now with the uh, dark matter distortion on. So you'll notice that Dark Matter Distortion has a great open sound, lots of mid-range for that snarly kind of rock tongue, and uh, lots of low end, lots of bass as well, lots of treble. So let's go over the controls quickly. First we have a gain knob, and the gain knob of course allows you to dial in how much overdrive or distortion in this case you want. There's a level knob that lets you basically boost the sound or cut it if you need to something, something lower. Then we have bass and treble knobs, and having a separate bass and treble knob is really great because it allows you to dial in your tone a lot more detailed than you can on regular pedals with just a tone knob. So you can basically cut down bass or add bass separately if you want to, or and the same goes for the treble. Make it a little bit brighter, make it darker for nice smooth leads. So last but not least, we have the toggle switch, and it basically lets you select between two different mid-range voicings. In the top position, which is what you just heard, we have emphasis on the lower mids, which is great for classic 60s and 70s rock sounds. And in the bottom position, we have emphasis on the higher mid-range stuff, which will give you 80s hard rock sounds. So let's hear a few more examples. So now I'll just crank the gain up to give you an idea how much you can actually get from this. And I'll put it in the uh, more hard rock kind of way. And let's hear the difference between the upper mid-range and the lower mid-range. So this is basically the same settings, just with different emphasis. So you notice the sound becomes a little more grainy and a little bit raw. You can also use the dark matter distortion with some lower gain settings, and this actually works quite nice as an almost an overdrive type pedal. So again, if I back down the volume... So let's hear it with the treble cranked up a bit to give me more of an extreme, an extreme sound for leads. So you have plenty of gain for classic rock leads, but one of the things that's really nice is that the Dark Matter Distortion and Mojo Mojo Overdrive works great together stacked. So I'll just back the gain down a bit and then I'll step on both of them at the same time to give you an idea of how they sound together. So basically with those two pedals you have kind of like four different sounds in one. So you have your, of course, your clean sound with everything off. Then you can add the Mojo Mojo Overdrive for crunchy rhythm stuff. switch to the dark matter for more hard rock gamey things. And for leads, kick on both at the same time. And 
lots and lots of sustain. And you still notice that it doesn't get overpowered, it's not too much gain, you just get a really nice singing beat tone. So that's dark matter distortion.